Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, the last day of January, January 31st, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, watch to the end, share, support me on patreon.com financially and visit my website, intuitivemitchell.com when you feel led. So today's message is once again from Paul Selleck and his guides from the Book of Mastery. It's a trilogy. Book one is out. And that is when you lift the world, you also lift the world for everyone you will ever meet and for those you may never meet. So anytime that you are living in a place of high vibration, anytime you are joyous, doing something good, you know, I was thinking about myself. You know, I, I produce this video with the intent to help. I post you know, I do intuitive readings, you know, even at my corporate day job, I'm trying to help people become f more fit, more healthy physically. Anytime I'm doing that with the intention, you know, to raise the vibration of the world and, and focus and, and help people, it's not just affecting the immediate people, it's affecting the entire world, the entire universe, all that is. So don't think even the littlest thing is not making a difference in the world, in all that is, in the galaxy, the universe, you know, from top to bottom, everything. So there's your message for today. Numbers, cards, things like that. Uh, yes, yeah, so today's Sunday. All the numbers add up to five today, which is kind of shifting, changing, moving. It can be a little volatile sometimes. It's versatile, you know, forward progressive thinking. It's a freedom number. Number five is very much about a freedom number. And then Lenormand to go along with it is the whip. Card number 11. This is often over and over and over exaggerated, non-stop. Um, it can be, you know, berating, you know, argumentative fights, um, chronic pain like arthritis or, or congestion. Um, you know, so... Um, Tara to go along with the whip is going to be the sun card. Really interesting. I would say this is, you know, watch the sunburn. You know, the sun, uh, constant exposure to the sun may overdo it for you. But also the sun card is often about willpower. So you may be forcing your will on other people. The sun card is about births and beginnings kind of a thing, often about babies. So this may be babies being born over and over and over. Um, or you just got, you got done having a baby and you're pregnant again. Um, uh, so, so look for that today. And again, with the number five days, a lot of change shifting and moving. So this could be about you flitting from one idea to the next. Oh, I'm going to do this. The next day, no, that's no fun. Okay, I'm going to do this. You know, make up your mind, pick something and stick with it. <clears throat> Tomorrow, it's the first day of February. So the number's like, change. So January was a dynamic one month. February is a feminine receptive um, relationship cooperative harmony unity month um, that's where the uh, Valentine's Day pops up which is kind of cool all the numbers tomorrow add up to three which is saying your truth speaking your truth um, it's funny because I, I was feeling a card and I'm like the card feels bent to me and then I flipped it over and I saw what it was but I'm still gonna use it don't think I'm gonna put it back but tomorrow speaking your truth playfulness creative expression mice so there was a little bend in it which I didn't like so tomorrow the third day 23 mice you nibbling away, eating away, um, stress, worries, fear, deterioration is what I like. I think I like the best deterioration. And then terror to go along with it is going to be nine, excuse me, ten of wands. Now it's interesting because all these cards have lots of reds, oranges, and yellows in them, which are really base chakra stuff. The you know the base excuse me lower chakra, base sacral and um, solar plexus. So tomorrow excessive um, amounts of physical stuff going on that may be deteriorating your body. This could be, you know, where you, your worry is, is physically hurting you, you know, or your, your body is deteriorating because you're not taking care of it, or you're stressing. Again, some of the key words, stress, worry, theft, problems, fear. Fear could be wreaking havoc on your body physically because Ten of Wands is like physical hard work. So, you know, maybe, maybe tomorrow is like a day where you – Maybe tomorrow is the day where you're running a marathon or something. But also, I would say, you know what? You're, you're, whatever you're doing, I don't know that it's great physically for your body. So be very aware that your body may not be enjoying what you're putting it through tomorrow. A three-day, three-day, speaking your truth, imagination, playfulness. Maybe you're playing too much. Maybe you're drinking too much and it's wreaking havoc on your body on the inside. So there's your message for today and tomorrow. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, and I've got about uh, four or five tickets left for Vicasa, which is next weekend, the 
6th and 7th of February in Orlando, Florida. Um, I think that's about, oh, the gab. We're going to be gabbing Sherry Elise and I on Tuesday night, Groundhog's Day, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, 5.30 p.m. California time, because that's where she is, and then all the other times in between. So check it out. It will be video, live. You can watch the replay, but it's all at thewellnessuniverse.com. I would encourage you to go find a free one. Click in, log in, make sure you can so at the last minute you're not stressing that you can't get on because once we start the show, I can't help you. I'm going to be focused on the show. Um, we will both be focused on the show. But um, there you have it. So namaste to you. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.